Hey, this is Adam Pratt at the Game Grid Arcade in West Valley City, Utah, next to the Red Robin Restaurant. My entrance is on the outside. And here is a review of Tato's Chase HQ2, the third in the series of Chase HQ. Uh, there actually was a sequel to the original one before this, but I guess they're just ignoring that. And so here's the newer one. Came out last year in about June or so. got it here. Um, in case you're wondering why there's no attract noise, it's because this is probably the most annoying attract mode ever created. Um, they have the Nancy girl here trying to explain how the game plays, but on top of that they have this absurdly loud police siren going off the entire time that this is going on. And so you hear this for about 30, 45 seconds, then it goes silent for a few seconds, then it comes back and has the same thing over again. So apparently, uh, whoever made this game and made the attract mode didn't bother to actually listen to it before. But either way, it's still a fun game. Kind of racing, as you can see, although it's more about chasing than racing because you're supposed to slam into the target. Uh, so we'll get started here. Three different cars to choose from with different abilities, and you can change the colors to whatever you want. Uh, you have this gear shifter here. There's low and high, and a nitro on the side. One gripe I have about this game is there's far too few levels. I mean, only five with a bonus level after the fifth one that can't really count as a level. Now you can activate the siren if you want to by hitting the siren button on the side. Of this game is finding the shortcuts and not smashing into oncoming traffic, and collecting and using your nitros. Because while this level is fairly easy, uh, right after this the difficulty goes up quite a bit for people that are just getting used to the game. It can be slightly frustrating when you're in high gear and it feels like they're always going faster. Right uh, but the trick is to use your low gear uh, when you need to do some tight turns and to accelerate a little faster up to 125 and then go to your high gear after that. Every time you smash into them, you'll slow down, so just go to low. So you accelerate enough and then you're good. You just have to keep smashing them until their car stops working, essentially. And the police siren noise is extremely loud. So overall, it is a fun game, I just wish it was longer. Good job! And that they tweak the difficulty curve a little bit more as well. That level, like I said, easy enough. This one, for people to just get into the game, goes up quite a bit. Now, of course, it is a little over the top, obviously. In reality, you're not going to go in a cop court chasing off a monster truck. Graphics are pretty good. Uh, they use a lot of cell shading. So if you like cell shading, there you go. If you hate it, then well, I guess just try to ignore it. <laughs> so as you can see, your timer keeps going, and even though I'm going almost 150, he's still staying out of reach. So that's a little annoying. That's where you're supposed to be. Now, when you hit him, you do get bonus time. So you want to try and get that as soon as possible. Take a shortcut here. Of course, that didn't help you. And that helped even less.
Nintendo creates an update for this, that would be pretty nice. Now the annoying thing, another annoying thing, I hate to keep pointing these things out, but uh, when you run out of time and it says you need to continue there, the target keeps on going, so if you haven't put in more credits, they can get way far ahead, and if you wait too long, you'll waste an entire turn, which isn't really cool. Uh, so definitely get enough credits in beforehand so that you don't have to worry about that. But at least you can beat the game without too much credit. Chase HQ, not without its flaws, but it's still a fun game. Uh, unique in its own way because the gameplay is a bit different than something like Tokyo Drift or uh, all the other racers out there. So it's, it's points for that. So uh, we'll see you around.